live. I go to the stars, unseen and unheard by the world. I have gotten into my spacecraft and I have gone a hundred million miles into outer space. My soul is in constant torment as loneliness eats away at my desire. Loneliness like you wouldn't believe. Loneliness is the worst in deepest space. So I get to the edge of the universe, a hundred million miles into the darkness, and I cracked up, lost control of my vehicle. Looky, 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 my mind is gone, my feelings are numb, and everything is brightly dead. Love, light, harmony all disappear into the void. There my worst fears are in crystalline focus, and all is lost. The only traveling companion I have is my dog. She is trained to pull me from the driving chamber if and when I lose my mind. Then she hits the control panel with her paw that sets the autopilot for Earth. Once on Earth again, I see a fancy dancy psychiatrist who teaches me to love my fears. She teaches me to love the anticipation of my fears, to embrace them and move on again. So I get into my spacecraft and I go a hundred million miles into outer space. My dog wags its tail in expectation, but this time when I lose control, I love it and the fear goes away. So, so, want to know what I do next? Want to know what I do next? Want to know what I do next? Do you want to know what I do next? Yeah. Do you want to know what I do next? Absolutely. Good, because I'm going to tell you. I walk in space, hearing only my heartbeat and the buzz in my ears. It's like there's a goddess inside me, a big mother saying, you can do it, son, because you can think it. You can feel I flex my fingers to touch the nothingness. And all of a sudden, I am here, beyond even the most fantastic imagination. Even Steven Spielberg, Oprah Winfrey, Adolf Hitler, and Albert Einstein can mind, cannot conceive of the world where I now exist. And all I'm left with are my feelings, the story of my life. And the one thought that burns my brain into insanity is... Am I the last romantic human being still surviving on the face of the planet Earth? And the answer is no. You are, and you are, and you are. As a matter of fact, you all are. When you finally have the courage to make your own journey from the darkest part of your heart to the lightest light of your being, so that when your one true beloved finally appears before you, you will be able to say, I go to the stars, and I have come back just for you, to take you on the adventure of your lifetime. So come with me, come with me, come with me and be my love forever and ever.